Just an incredible morning, and it reflects a government that's responsive to business. I mean, you really got the sense this morning that uh, you know this government does not view business as a problem or the problem, but on the contrary, views it as uh, quite possibly the solution to to many problems. We uh, we had visits from Secretary Ross, Secretary Chow, we had Gary Cohn. Uh, came and joined us, Ivanka Trump. Uh, th that group largely talked about infrastructure and education. But I thought what was interesting is Vice President Pence, followed by President Trump, they really focused on regulation. What can we do to create a more business friendly environment in this country, uh, as well as taxes, and uh, really emphasize, emphasizing the importance of a, of a lower tax rate. And Tom, a lot of those things would help, uh, you know, your business, your parent company. What are some of the specific deregulatory items that might help the New York Stock Exchange, you know, trading and regular, you know, things that could be reopened, for example? Um, what kinds of issues are you guys talking about that could change if the regulatory landscape changes? Sure. And just to just to cue in on the first part of your question, sure, it could be good for our business, but but lo a lower corporate tax rate could be good for business writ large. And that's good for society. I mean, it's money that could go back into the economy. It could go back into investors' pockets, which is not such a bad thing. Ultimately, move towards innovation. But moving to the, the latter part of your question, when you think about regulation, well, let me, let me take a step back. For the last three years, when I've talked to CEOs, they've had two issues in particular they want us as the NYC to come down here and advocate on their behalf about taxes, which I just mentioned, and reduce regulation. So you talk about specific regulations. President Trump mentioned Dodd-Frank. There are a few regulations in Dodd-Frank that we've advocated loudly and strongly that we take a fresh look at and make sure that they're really serving a, a bona fide purpose and they're not just hindering business. For example, uh, uh, the pro proxy access rules, uh, even, even the conflict minerals rule, certainly a laudable goal to make sure that people are not exploited in the pursuit of minerals. Uh, but the way the, the rule was implemented, if you talk to corporate leaders in this country, they say it's more a problem than it is anything. Uh, Tom, not every day you get that caliber of CEOs gathered together in one room. Give us a sense of uh, the conversation in the room, whether it's on these topics that you've mentioned already or other topics. Here we are at the start of the second quarter with confidence high, but a lot of uh, geopolitical issues and economic issues looming. Yeah, it was, I mean, like I said, it was fun. I was in the room with uh, several masters of the universe, New York business people types, and they range from close personal friends of President Trump, and he called a few out by name. Steve Roth of NYC listed Vornado comes to mind, uh, uh, as well as uh, just titans of industry, Mike Corbat of City uh, and, and, and others. And I didn't know exactly what to, to, to expect, but I can tell you that the, my sense, and I don't want to speak for others, but my sense was there's a consensus <laughs> that this administration, this president's moving the right direction, specifically with respect to regulation and taxes. So there was a good feeling uh, in the room uh, there was a lot of appreciation, particularly for that business agenda. And, uh, you know, it went very well from my perspective. It, it felt like a good two-way dialogue, and it fe felt like the administration is really taking in the views of, of job creators and business leaders, such as we're arrayed here in the White House today. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.